Hey, traders, guess what? No Santa Claus rally. In fact, I think it could be one of the worst finishes to end the year ever. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so no Santa Claus rally. I know everyone was looking for that, but no Santa Claus rally, right? Because the, the, the one or two days is not a Santa Claus rally, right? So we, if we get another two updates from where we are today, Santa Claus didn't come to town this year, right? So I want to help you understand that when it comes to these markets, that we look at the markets for what it is, for what the market's telling us, and then we make decisions. Not, uh, not a, uh, well, Santa Claus is coming to town today, okay? Maybe he does. I hope Santa Claus comes to you this year. Or I, hope, I, hope he, I hope he has come to you. He definitely came to me. I've had a phenomenal, phenomenal year uh, when it comes to my trading. Um, and so, let's go have a look at the actual stock market itself. The actual, the, the you can see the actual, the, the NASDAQ. Look what the NASDAQ's doing. The NASDAQ is almost, almost at all time new lows. We are about to get a capitulation move, I believe, in the NASDAQ coming real soon. And I've been talking at this for quite some time. And as you can see here, looking at the NASDAQ, you can see we're at this, this sort of uh, 10,500 level, where it is right now. We come down and we bounce, we hit there, right? So we may get a little bit of a bounce here. Uh, but remember guys, remember the big thing that I've been saying here for quite some time. Look at the good old NASDAQ. So we can see we had this, through here, we may get a little bit more of a bouncery through here, which I'm actually hoping, by the way, because if we get that, whoa, me lucky, right? Me lucky. And so if we get something like that and then a breakdown like that, then I actually see the NASDAQ, I see the NASDAQ actually getting towards the 7,000 level on the NASDAQ. So very, 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 very weak. Let's go have a look at the S&P 500 and look at this here from an S&P 500 point of view. Look how weak this looks. People are so, why would you be bullish a market? Well, I, again, I, I guess like, yeah, you like to catch it. You like to catch that falling knife, right? Don't catch a falling knife, no. Right, go with the market, flow with the market. Look what happened, up, down. I did a video yesterday saying sucker rally. I thought the market would have at least a one more up day before it has another big down, before it has another down day. But no, we didn't even get another up day. We get drop, right? Yesterday's video, sucker rally. And guess what happened? They suckered you, right? No, 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 right? We don't want to be into the sucker rallies, okay? Where is the trend? <laughs> Rule number one is trend, guys. I promise you. If you just stick to that, what's the trend? Let me trade with that. You do. You, you're gonna be better than ninety percent of people out there that trade it. Because most people are like, oh, I'm gonna buy it here because the trend's down, <laughs> and then you buy it all the way down, right? Like Tesla, right? Tesla. It's like anyway. So we can see the S and P five hundred looking out through there, and we're getting that through there. But here's the really interesting thing. I am actually looking at the gold chart right now, and gold is about to have a drop in the market as well too. Yes, I'm in gold. Yes, I'm long-term bullish gold, but that doesn't matter. I'm, I'm telling you what the market's telling me right now. We are about to get a drop in gold as well too, right? Where the, the gold is looking very, very, very weak through here. Remember, remember, if you guys remember, I talked about the roller coaster pattern, right, with with the Dow Jones, the big roller coaster pattern. And so what the roller coaster pattern is this, right? It goes up, it's like a roller coaster. It goes up and then it slows down and it slows down and it slows down and then we get the falling off, right? Remember like the roller coaster? You know when you're, you know, back over here, you know, you hop on, right? You got the, you got the people. <laughs> They're supposed to be people, by the way. <laughs> you got the people in the roller coaster and they go up. You know, you know, you know when you first start the roller coaster, it goes chick, 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 and you go up, 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 and then it slows down and then it slows down, and then it goes, and then it goes, ah, and then all the way down, right? That's why I call it the roller coaster pattern, because that's, that's exactly what it does, and then, and then we start the falling. Now, at this point through here, guys, by the way, that could happen like this, right? Down, and then we could get like a, a bit of an up move like this here, and a move like that, like that there, and then we could get a down move like that. You see what I'm saying? Like, not every day, okay? Someone said, John, where's the crash in the stock market? I'm like, 
Do, uh, do you actually understand what a crash in the stock market means? A crash in the stock market is not, like look at the reality of crashes. Crashes take years sometimes. At least one year to unfold. Did you hear that? One year. What was 2008? Oh, that was 360, the great financial crisis crash. Oh, that was 365 days. So guys, if you're thinking, oh, the market's gonna crash tomorrow. Yeah, we do that. We're YouTubers, right? We need to get some eyeballs. I still suck at YouTube, by the way, but <laughs> whatever, all right? I'm really good at trading. Come down and check me out. I'll tell you. That, that free trading course in the link in the description, guys, I'll tell you. I'll change your life. Anyway, so you can see that, that that's what I'm looking at there when it comes to the gold market. So gold right now is starting to get that slowing, the roller coaster slowing pattern before we actually get the movement on the downside. So gold is probably going to get hit real soon. Now, the one thing I do want to share with you is... Let me share with you the good old Bitcoin. Look, look what's happened with the good old Bitcoin through here. Very, very, very interesting stuff, right? So the Bitcoin chart has been continuing to, I've got an alarm through there. Let me take that off the screen, right? Let me, yes. It takes off the screen, right? So the Bitcoin chart, and actually let's do this here. So the Bitcoin chart is actually doing this, right? Look at this here. So this is the weekly chart here with Bitcoin. You know, not looking good. Right, so we look at the Bitcoin chart and we look at the weekly chart. Look what happened high, lower high, lower high. We've broken down and now we've just gone one, two, three, four, five, six weeks of doing nada, nothing, absolutely nothing. The market is talking to us, guys. Okay, the market this is the weekly chart here, downtrend on the weekly chart. Okay, that big picture. So if we go look at the daily charts now and we see what's going on, if indeed. Let me zoom this on a bit more so you can see the big picture here I'm talking about here, right? Let me bring this up. Like, there we go. That's better. All right. If indeed we start to get something like this, right? We start to get a nice big breakdown bar like that, something like that. Guess what? We are on our way to 10,000. Okay. We're on our way to 10,000. So that means, once again, let me just share this with you. That means, let me just actually bring this up. Right, right from there to there. That means if we get something that looks like this, we probably get something that looks like that, like a big breakdown bar like that. That means we're probably gonna have a big, that's gonna be the last final capitulation, I believe, in the crypto market. And then it's not gonna do anything for a few years, right? That's what that's, 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 that's what most markets do when they go through these boom and bust periods. They go through the boom, they go through the bust, and then they do nothing, right? Like the last time this happened. And let me share what I'm talking about here when it comes to what I just mentioned just there. Right, look what look what happened last time. Right, do 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 do. Let's actually bring this here. Right, so look at this here. We went through what? We went through boom. We went through bust, and then it did nothing for a long time, and then we went, then, then we took on some serious price action. So this here is where we're at right now. So we've probably got another few years of, of, of not much happening with the crypto market, and people still really are focused on the crypto market because they're like, oh, here we go. No, crypto market's already had its move, right? It's already had its boom and bust. Stock market's already had its boom and bust, right? These play, these markets have had already had their boom and bust. Don't be going involved with that because that's that's already had their boom and bust. But what sector hasn't had the boom and bust yet for the last 10 years? Oh, that would be the mining sector. Oh, I think there's something to that, what I just mentioned there. Anyway, so... Um, and then I will, and then just talking about also Ethereum as well too. Ethereum is also the exact same sort of thing I'm talking about here, guys. We have a nice good sideways movement through here. Once we break this level here on Ethereum, there really isn't, like, let me actually zoom this in here so you can see what I'm talking about. Once we actually, once we get a good strong breakdown on Ethereum here, guys, there really isn't any good strong support until we get down to this 300 or so level from there. So I wouldn't be touching Ethereum um, and again, probably the same thing with Ethereum as well too, right? The, the, the exact same thing I'm talking about here. All right, look at the back here, All right? What do we have? We had the boom, we had the bust, and then it did nothing for a long time, right? Same thing, this happens, this happens with most markets out there um, unless the government is injecting capital into that there, right? So that didn't really happen with the stock market because they inject capital and then it goes through the inflation again. This happened. Even, this even happened with the property market, right? We went through a big boom, big crash with the property market, 2008 or two, actually 2007, eight and nine crash. But when did the property market actually start to pick off? It was actually around 2011 to 2012 
2012 was when the stock market, when the property market started to pick back up again. Make sense?